<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is clay wall and today i'm super excited because we are diving into the world of k cars this is a 2015 honda s660 named after the late great 60s honda s600 but it's more suited towards holding the title of being the modern day successor of the iconic 90s honda beat the Honda S660 is a turbocharged two-door rear-wheel drive manual mid-engine convertible sports car and it was a car designed to comply with the K-car regulations in Japan. And what that effectively translates to is a light automobile. This special K-car category denotes vehicles that are extremely small in size and with a very tiny motor limited to a maximum power output of 64 horsepower. And with all of these rules met, it allows for cheaper registration costs, reduced toll fees, as well as lowered parking costs. And all of this is a huge saving to be having over in Japan because owning a vehicle over there is extremely expensive. As such, the Honda S660 has a three-cylinder turbocharged 660cc motor and it's mated to a six-speed manual transmission or there's an option of getting a seven-speed CVT. But don't let the numbers on paper fool you and deter you from how great this car actually is because it's cleverly paired with very close ratio gearing. It's got a near 50-50 weight distribution and it only weighs 830 kilograms. This is the perfect package for an excellent driver's car and I can't wait to see what this car has to offer. It is by far the smallest vehicle that I've ever reviewed on the channel and it's also the lightest one as well. If you guys want to see epic car reviews and some more automotive related content here on YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel and let's get straight into it, shall we? Second gear. <laughs> this car just sounds so good when you get on it. They've just made so many tasteful noises when you're behind the wheel of the S660. You know, you don't ever see these K cars out here in Australia. There's not many at all. And to spot a vehicle that's this tiny out here, it's a very rare sight. These cars were never delivered to anywhere else outside of Japan just because of the strict regulations. And in saying so, there's probably only around 10 of these vehicles in the whole country. You can import one anytime, but prices on these vehicles have gone up to tremendous levels because Honda has just announced that they're discontinuing the S660 from their lineup because of the strict laws and regulations over in Japan. They're really pushing cars towards electrification. And so this could honestly mean the end of K cars as a whole. It's a very sad thing to hear for Honda because they only have three existing sports cars in their lineup. That being the S660, the Civic Type R as well as the Honda NSX. So this could really mark the end for sports cars for Honda forever. If you're looking to pick up an S660 in Australia, you're looking at spending around $25,000 to $40,000 depending on the condition of the vehicle here in Australia. As soon as you hop into this vehicle, you are welcome to a whole new world and it feels like you're jumping straight into a video game. Everything just feels so surreal because you think about it being just so small in physical size that when you jump in, it's a very big cabin and everything is just so catered around the idea of driving. You've got a lovely D-shaped steering wheel, you're in a fantastic driving position and all the gauges and the tachometers and the design of everything is just so well suited for the driver. The six-speed manual feels perfect at my fingertips and it's got that signature Honda gearbox feel that is just so right in this car. You're just so low down to the road, it feels like you're right at one with the tarmac. For a vehicle that's so refined and so modern, there's still a sense of feedback and you're really able to know what this chassis is doing. When you're putting this car hard and 10 tenths on the road, it does feel a little bit unnerving and there's a sense of it being a little bit floaty. I don't really have the most confidence when I'm driving this car flat out, but you have to remember that this vehicle is still a stock standard example. And so there's so much potential to make this car more suited towards a driver's car. Spoon and many different other manufacturers have engineered parts to make it just a little bit better. <laughs> so this car revs out at about 
1000 RPM. There's a rear window back here, which you can lower and it just accentuates all the noises coming from this turbocharged motor. Listen to it. The noises are just brought to the forefront and it reminds you that you're in a mid-engine convertible sports car. Honda has specifically designed this car as a pocket rocket and no matter how fast you're going, it enables you to enjoy the thrills of driving the S660. Because cars these days have just so much power. This is a vehicle that makes you work for it and it's so enjoyable. It's funny, I've never ever experienced a K car and driving this vehicle makes me appreciate everything that it denotes because it's so small, it's so compact, but it really evokes the idea of driving. If I had to compare this with other cars that I've driven on the channel, it really resembles the NDMX5 as the Fiat 124 Spider as well as the Honda S2000 thrown in into a package that's just so much smaller than everything else I had ever experienced. You're able to take off this Targa top like convertible roof and place it into the front. The cabin is an extremely luxurious place to be in. It's got leather throughout the entire cabin. This being the highest spec model, being the Alpha, you've got very tasteful seats. You've got carbon fiber trim throughout the interior. You're buying into a vehicle that has luxury thrown in and sprinkled almost everywhere throughout this interior and you couldn't complain about what this cabin has to offer because it really has all the creature comforts you would want in such a tiny little K car. I really like the design of the Honda S660. It still holds true to the iconic Honda Beat from the 90s and as soon as you look at this car you can see it's got that DNA right in the bloodlines of this car. You wouldn't be mistaken from seeing this car a mile away and thinking that you've just spotted an NSX. It's got so much road presence and it looks like a baby NSX. On first inspection of this car I could not believe just how tiny this vehicle was. I think the best way to describe the sheer size of this car would be to think of the Honda S2000 and think of it being two-thirds the size of that car. It's literally that small. It's a very well thought out example of a sports car. And so you're a little bit shortchanged if you're looking for practicality because honestly this car doesn't really have any of it. You've got a very tiny space for just the target top and if you're using that to take off the roof you've got no space to put anything else. But if you want a car that's built with purpose in mind, this car is the culmination of a modern day K car. And I've had such a blast driving this vehicle. I want to say a huge thank you to the owner, Alan from Promax, for letting me drive his pride and joy. This car has been a true treat. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, tell me what you like about this Honda S660. And as well as that, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.